Hey what's poppin guys, Sizzle here, and this is gonna be a video showing off how to get all the weapons in TF2 for cheap, or at least like a high majority of them. Uh, some reskins are just straight up expensive because they were limited time or whatever. But every weapon that is different effectively stat wise, you can get through this method. Right, if you look at my inventory here, I do have all the achievement items, uh, and I even have some of the promo items like the Luger Morph and the Iron Curtain, which are just reskins, but they look really nice in my opinion. Uh, and even some other promo items like the space chem stuff and uh, there are uh and i made videos on how to get all this stuff in the description so for anyone that wants to go do that just check the video in the description i made many many videos explaining how to get all this stuff in 2023 and beyond uh with that out of the way though i'm going to show you how to actually get weapons for cheap so first off, uh, unfortunately, this does require trading, which means you need to have Steam Guard active. And you're probably wondering, you know, why didn't I make this video right away? Like, I've already done three hours of TF2, and I I've played, you know, done a few of the contracts or whatever before getting any of the weapons. And the answer to that lies in this mercenary badge right here. The start date of November 8th, 2023. You have to wait 15 days uh, to be able to trade in TF2 after adding Steam Guard to your account, which I literally did day one. And now that I can trade, I can show you how to do this. So first off, you just want to open your web browser of choice. So in my case, it's going to be this web browser right here. And then you just want to go to Steam, right? To the actual real Steam website. And you want to log in. And make sure this is the browser you're going to use for every other step of this. Uh, this login right here is just for simplicity later on. Alright, I just scanned the QR code, so I'm going to go use that to log in. Uh, it shouldn't take too long, see so check mark, I'll verify and everything. If you have Steam Guard, you already have, you know, this set up on your phone, so you might as well just use that easy feature. Uh, with that out of the way though, our first stop is going to be scrap.tf. Then we're going to hit sign in through Steam. And then it'll prompt us to sign in again, I guess. Uh, normally it doesn't do this, but it might be a security feature of the browser I'm using because it is a bit of a weird browser. Uh, on Chrome, it should probably work from here, but either way, uh, first off, make sure it says steamcommunity.com and that you didn't go to the wrong link. I will link ScrapTF in the description so you can't like have a type or anything. You can just click on it. But just in case, make sure it is steamcommunity.com right here, not steamcommunity or whatever. And there can't be anything before it, right? So if it says like wow.steamcommunity.com, like you're, you're at the wrong place. It has to be steamcommunity.com. Uh, and then you just want to go log in again. And I'm going to go stand the QR code again. And that should log us in, right? And once this is what you should see normally, you see this nice little green sign in button. It says note scrap TF is not affiliated with Steam or Valve. And that is the case. This is like a community site says you've not set your trade offer URL, ignore the rest of this stuff, it doesn't really matter. But click here to go do that now. And just scroll down a little bit. Go to this tab right here, right click steamcommunity.com, my trade offer is privacy. And you'll notice, you'll see at the bottom here, we have this right here. Highlight all of it, right click, copy. And then just scroll down to the bottom here, right click, paste, and save trade offer URL. This will let you make trades with this website. You also have to make sure, and this wasn't uh, something I just showed off, but make sure your Steam inventory is set to public, which you have to change in your privacy settings. So if you're on the Steam client, it's Steam. So if you're on the Steam client, you know, go to your name, profile, edit profile, then privacy settings. And where it says inventory, make sure this is set to public. If it's not working, this is probably why. There is also a rare instance where sometimes the Steam item servers are down. Uh, and if it says that's the case, it normally takes about 20 to 30 minutes for them to get back up. It doesn't take much longer than that. Like if you come back four hours later and it's still not working, uh, either you're really unlucky and they went down twice on the same day, or you did something wrong like this, making sure you have the set to public. Anyway, once you have that set up, you might think we go through scrap TF, but I forgot to mention you actually need to get this thing called refined metal. Uh, and there's a few ways to get it. First off, you could sell on scrap the TF uh, what you already have. If you guys watched my earlier guide of things I would do to start off playing TF2, you'll know that if in my inventory is this nice little tour of duty ticket, which I bought specifically for this purpose. And I actually have two of them. Uh, you could also have a Manco supplier of Craig Key. Those are the main two things you'd want. Don't spend, you know, Steam money on anything else. 
we can do with that is we can do trade if you have keys you click here and hit auto smelt metal and it would it would automatically turn your keys into refined you could also do trade items sell and you'll notice we have our cases and apparently they're overstocked into our duty tickets which is rare but it happens uh, and there is a, another place you can sell this stuff that is way better generally you'll get more uh refined that way but sometimes scrap tf is just simpler and easier to do but we just want to go to backpack.tf which i will also link in the description as it is vital for this process yet again sign in through steam just for simplicity and there you go you got the nice little sign in right there and you'll get a notification on here where they want you to join the steam group just ignore that uh, and you want to search up the item that you have to sell so in my case tour duty ticket and you notice there's two options. There's one that's normal. There's one with a dotted border. Uh, the normal one is just a craftable one. And this is an uncraftable one. If you look back here, the ones I have are not usable in crafting, meaning I want to sell the uncraftable one. So I'm going to click that option. And then I just have to add one of these bots to go sell them to. So let me just hover over their name, hit community, hit add friend, and it'll add them. Uh, I don't think you guys got to hear that, but there was no Steam notification just now for me. And that's because a chat open up with the bot. And that's because a chat open up with the bot, as you can see right here. And you can just look at the message on backpack.tf to see what you have to send them. So right, it says type sell non-craftable tour duty ticket. I'm going to right click copy that. Go in the Steam chat. Right click paste and send. And I have two of them, so I'm going to sell two of them because this is this is the highest price these are the buy orders this is how much the bots will buy your stuff for the sell orders are the people you'd want to buy from so these are either bots or normal people that are selling those items to you for refined uh, the tf2 economy works on a system of keys and refined and scrap and reclaimed it's like basically the you know the the cents and dollars uh of the tf2 world anyway you'll notice we've added both of those and it says type checkout to check out. Some bots might say different things. We're going to type checkout. And there we go. It sends us a trade. You can see I even got the notification down there. We hit view trade offer. It will open up on Steam. And make sure you count all this. Sometimes the bots are wrong. Most of the time they're right. But make sure you count up all the refined to make sure you're getting exactly what they promise. Uh, especially if you trade with a human or something instead of a robot. Which you can do but can be a bit more risky because you have to count it manually or whatever. Make sure you confirm all that stuff, then hit confirm trade contents, scroll down and hit accept trade. And then you have to go confirm on the Steam mobile app the trade you're about to make. Alright, so I'm recording on my phone. I'm going to go to confirmations, trade offer, and then you'll see these are the same items. Make sure you count them up and hit confirm trade. And it, sometimes it takes either a few presses of confirm trade and it says unable to confirm sometimes but if you go back to the menu and it's gone. If you refresh by scrolling down, you can see no confirmation at this time. That's because it just went through. And that means the trade just happened. And you can see the bots even messaging us saying, thank you. The offer has gone through on Steam as well. Uh, we should, if I refresh, I guess, get a bunch of, you know, let's see in our inventory here. We have all our refined now. And that is what we're going to use to trade for all the weapons. So now let's go back. Go for weapons specifically, definitely go to scrap.tf. They have this very neat feature right here called auto buy. If you click that, uh, you might have to refresh or reload it so that it actually recognizes what you have. But if you hit auto buy, it still says you don't have any metal. You have to give it some time for the TF2 item service to update. But eventually, uh, if you wait long enough and you hit auto buy, it'll recognize what you have. So let's just hit like normal buy. Maybe that'll make it refresh our inventory or like sell All right there we go we have two weapons there it recognizes that let's try auto buy again you don't have any metal that's uh really interesting yeah so you can see it still it has an out of date thing it still thinks we have these tour duty tickets uh sometimes it can help to actually boot up tf2 at this part of the process so you can go to you know library and tf2 and go boot that up and sometimes that'll fix your problem I'm just going to give that a shot to see if that helps. And you can see, since I hadn't booted TF2 between doing that trade, it's going to say we have new items and it's all the refined and scrap we just got from that trade. You can see 58 new items. It's going to fill up a lot of my backpack. 
Uh, but since you'll have a few slots of backpack space because you have premium in order to trade, this shouldn't be a problem. By the way, if I haven't mentioned it at this point and you've watched to this point without knowing, this is a pay-to-play feature. You have to have spent money on TF2 in the TF2 store. You have to spend just any money. You have to buy one item from Valve to be able to trade. Uh, so if you haven't done that, you have to do that and you have to have Steam Guard enabled like I did explain at the start. Anyway, now that we've done this, let's go back and check out scrap.tf and see if it's willing to update for us. Let's hit auto buy. And I guess the item servers are just laggy today. So that's a, that's a good example, right? This is the item servers being laggy. We've confirmed. All right now, first off, let's actually remove this bot. <laughs> Make sure you remove the bots after you're done trading with them. There's just no point in them being on your friends list. So if we go back to our inventory, even on you know, Steam's website here, you can see even they recognize we have our refined metal right there. Uh, so just give it some time. I'm going to go cut to when I click the auto buy button and it just works. And uh, I'll see you then. Something that can also help uh, if you're stuck here is hit log out and they'll log out of the site. Hit sign through Steam and just hit sign in again. Sometimes that makes them grab fresh information from you. Uh, and because I'm actually able to load my inventory here, I have the feeling that's what's happening here. So let's hit trade and auto buy. It's still having that same problem. <laughs> that's really, really weird. It's normally not this laggy. Uh, it's, it's very, very unfortunate this happened to happen today. And there you go. It took quite a while. It's very rare, but this does just happen sometimes. Either Steam or Scrap TF will just be a little bit laggy. It's important to recognize you can see the trade has come through but the website does take a second but it does actually let you open it on the web browser which i find pretty convenient and you can see we're getting all these weapons that i didn't already have for a mere four refined metal we got like 60 or something from our two tour duty tickets it's about the same you get with a key uh, and yeah we'll just hit accept trade and yet again i have to go confirm it on my phone because i already showed that before it, it's the same process i'm not going to show it again but just know you have to do it and i just finished that off so if i refresh my inventory for example you should see the new items appearing soon and if not it's because yet again the theme can just be like and if not because yet again steam can just be a little bit laggy sometimes it's generally not that laggy uh, you can see two pending trade offers and this trade was accepted, especially in trades with so many items like this. I mean, this is just a lot of items. It can take a little bit, but if you boot up TF2, any trade you do generally registers in TF2 like right away. Even if it's a bit laggy on the website or whatever, if you boot up TF2 or if you had it open this whole time, it should just be working fine. And you can see here, I got new items. Boom. And that's like just a bunch of weapons. An absolute fuckload of weapons, and if I go to any of my classes now, or instead of just the shotgun, I now got my gunboats I love, I got my escape plan that I love, I can even use the original if that's what I want to go do. And same with scout, we got our other options, not that I ever use any of them. Uh, outside of the winger, I do like the winger. And uh, we don't have every option, that, that's the important part to recognize. This scrap TF thing will give you a lot of the items, but not all of them. So it's very important to recognize that. Uh, but it does generally give you a lot of the better items right away with very little hassle. The fact that it's all automated and it gets basically everything for you is a blessing. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, and I do think it takes achievement items into account. So if you got the achievement items, you don't have to like double down or anything. And you can see Crusader's Crossbow, which basically always have a medic. But you notice I only have two of the medic guns here. I don't have, don't have absolutely everything, but you get a lot of stuff. You get a large majority of the items this way. Uh, but once you have all that, now it's time to check for what items we're missing after Scrap.tf. Uh, by the way, Scrap.tf, what is in here changes based on what people sold to it that day. So if you're missing a lot of weapons, you could literally just refresh this like every day or two and try the same option. And it'll a lot of times just have another weapon for you. Uh, but let's go check out on what we're missing. The safest way to check what weapons you're missing after doing this is to go on the TFT wiki and scroll down the whole weapons list and kind of just check one to one with what you're missing. But it's important to recognize that some of these are reskins, right? So if I go right on this, you know, the reskin page of the wiki and I scroll down a little, we have the bat and the festive bat 
and the bat saber are all the same weapon they're all reskins right and you've got the winger and the festivized winger they're the same weapon they have the same stats they just have a different model in first person right the holy mackerel and the unarmed combat and it's important to recognize this because the stuff here on the right that was added later that are reskins of your weapon are way more expensive than the original right so a holy mackerel costs you half a scrap or like a fraction of a cent the unarmed combat i think is like four refined which is literally what we paid for every other weapon we've gotten so far now that being said some of them look sick so some people are willing to pay the difference like the boston basher is just like a little mace with blood on or whatever and the three room blade is literally just a sword for the scout which is pretty sick right, and then the bat saber is a lightsaber instead of a bat for the scout so that's also really cool but this one's like a hundred dollars or something so you know you don't have to go for all that stuff but if you look through this list and try to avoid reskins when possible you'll kind of get an eye as to what you're missing uh, so what i just pointed out earlier is i was missing some of the mediguns right so if we go to the mediguns here with the medigun crit tree the quick fix and the vaccinator uh, and if i go you know check out my inventory in game right, and if i go into items and the medic you can see i have the quick fix crit tree and medigun but i do not have the vaccinator so i'm gonna go show off how we go get that but yet again go to backpack.tf this is basically the website where people list stuff for trade to trade with other players or or just bots that list up the trade with the trade with players we can just type in vaccinator or even part of it and it'll pop up you want to click the one with the nice little full thing here like i said before this is uncraftable and different colors mean different things like orange means strange and red means collector they're basically just reskins the weapon functionally is the same as the normal one and you can see right here, the sell orders, the vaccinator is particularly expensive at 0.55 ref uh, because there's a weird little meme with this one where someone is buying out a lot of these, <laughs> which is uh, yeah, a little bit unfortunate. You can see there's actually no bots selling this one. So this is the one and only weapon in TF2, to my knowledge, that has this as an example. Uh, every other weapon should work fine. So let me go find another weapon that I'm missing. You know, for example, if I go to the Medic's Melees, we have just the Bone Saw and the Uber Saw, and the Necro Smasher, but the Necro Smasher was an achievement item. You can't actually trade for that one at all. And if we go to the weapons list, right, we have the Bone Saw, the Uber Saw, and, for example, the Amputator, Vita Saw, or Solemn Vow. Uh, I like the Solemn Vow. It's a pretty fun weapon to use, so I'm going to go find the Solemn Vow. All right. You see, get the one with the full thing. And you can see right here, it's 0.11 ref. It's it's just a one scrap purchase. That's how that uh, translates, by the way. Ref stands for refined, and nine scrap make one refined. It's it's weird math up, but basically 0.11 you know, means one scrap. And in the same way as before, you could just type buy Solemn Vow after adding the bot to have the bot do the math for you and send you the proper trade. But I'm going to go show off the human way of doing it, just clicking the trade item thing right here. All right, in my case, you know, let's go to TF2. That's where we have our items in. Let's search up scrap. I guess we don't have any, so I'm going to turn... <laughs> I don't have reclaimed either. Interesting. So I guess we have only refined metal left, which is kind of a problem, because what that means is I have to do some actual math here. But if you put in the right amount in a human trade, the bots will accept your trade. So since it costs one scrap, if I do two reclaimed and two scrap because two scrap uh, sorry three scrap make one reclaim so this is like three scrap this is three scrap and this is two and this is nine scrap which means this is one more than that if we then add the solemn vow uh, this is the main way to do it by the way the other way still works just fine i want to make that known it click here confirm and make offer uh, whenever there's a lightning little exclamation mark thing here, that means that's a bot and they'll instantly respond to you and instantly get your item. So if you're impatient, you can just do it that way. The other one will be a human person that gets a notification when they get a trade. They have to manually confirm it whenever you know they're online or whatever. And you have to deal with all those shenanigans. If I go send this to the bot and I go back in game, I guess I don't go in game. Uh, allow communications you can see the bot says i've accepted your offer it will be finalized shortly and you can see right here you have new items we got ourselves our solemn vow for medic and if we go to medic we can go equip the solemn vow just like that and uh yeah that's how to get all the weapons in tf2 cheap and easy right everything else you can buy on scrap tf so uh, or backpack.tf if it's not on scrap at the moment 
Uh, some important items that are almost never on Scrap.tf. Like I said, the first one's the Vaccineer. That one's a bit of a meme and costs a bit more than everything else for just a re uh, for the reason that one single person bought up like 10% of all vaccinators in TF2. Like they have like 100,000 vaccinators or something. It's crazy. But the other ones are the Rocket and Sticky Jumper. They're almost never on uh, Scrap TF. And they're always, always like one or two scrap instead of just one scrap. So we go to the Rocket Jumper. Right, You can see it's one scrap right now. And, and this thing is almost never sold on Scrap the TF. Uh, so that you'll have to probably get it from Backpack. But yeah, that is how you get every weapon. It's the easy way of getting most things, and then the harder way of manually checking everything else. And I hope you found this useful. If you did, you know, leave a nice comment below, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.